One, two, one, two, three, hit it. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, Adams of all ages, it's your STEM teacher, Mr. Williams. How you guys doing? I'm excited to uh, be with you guys for another week. Um, I can't wait to get back into the classroom. Um, I know we're all working as hard as we can, doing the best we can. Uh, above anything else, please make sure you are staying safe and do your best to stay sane. With that being said, I'm going to keep these weekly STEM challenges coming to you guys. Um, so right now, what I have in front of me are a bunch of materials. What I've started doing is since I'm home all the time and, the, and I have to, you know, the kids are home all the time, we started saving recyclable materials. So here, for example, I have a few tissue boxes, right? Just save your tissue boxes if you're going through tissues. You know, I have some paper towel rolls. I have some toilet paper rolls. These make great um, materials for arts and crafts, but also for STEM projects. Um, right now, I have my bag of rubber bands. I got some scissors, a hot glue gun, and some tape. So if you haven't already, please start saving your paper towel rolls and please start saving your toilet paper rolls. I have a whole bunch here. I'll show you my box. Oh, whoa. See? So I got a bunch here and I'm just gonna make different things with them. So this week's project and next week's project will be based around these materials. All right, so uh, let's get started. The first thing I have is a tissue box. Again, if you don't have a tissue box, um, try and be creative about what types of things you think could work. But for me, I have a tissue box. I've been saving them, but I only have two. So this is going to work the first time. Some of your tissue boxes are going to have a plastic like film in it where the tissue kind of is covered while you use it. First thing you want to do is take that out. So here's my box. It is now empty. Here's what we're going. If you want to decorate your box, you want to do that first. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to decorate it, but you can cover it in construction paper and draw pictures. You can paint it if you want, or you can just get some markers and you can just kind of draw whatever you want to draw. So here's my tissue box. This is the base of what we're making. I haven't told you what we're making just yet, but you'll know at the end. Now I'm going to take one of my paper towel rolls and I'm going to put it on the surface of the side. See my box? And I'm going to trace it. Can you hold this one? And I'm going to trace it so that way I can make a circle. Mm. All right, thank you. So once I trace it, I have a circle on the corner of my box. My circle's a little bit crooked, so I wasn't looking at it. But I have my circle. The plan is to cut this hole out and stick the paper towel roll inside. All right, so. I have my hole in my box. So this is how much I got. Yes, enough. So now I have my tissue box, but you can make the handle of your guitar as long or as short as you want to, based on how long or short your arms are. If you have rainbow rubber bands, they work the best because you can use you know fun colors. But for now. I just have the plain rubber bands and I'm going to use those. So, so now, and again, if you want to color any of these materials, feel free, take my rubber band. I got a bunch of different sizes here. So stretch it out a little bit. Here goes the first one, stretch out the rubber band. It's going to go the second one. And you want to position your rubber bands so that over the hole, the tissue box, because that's where you're going to be doing your strumming. And then I'll put one more. We'll have a three. You can use as many strings as you want. I'm going to use three for now, though. Oh, here we have it. This is my homemade guitar. I'm right here. So here you go. And then we just try. One, two, one, two, three, hit it.
In the words of Caleb Quindish, rock and roll!